It turns them by hand into necklaces, and so that way you kind of always have those words close to your heart, and I think that's a pretty neat thing. So I'll be over there. Uh, you know, speaking of my wife, just about a month ago we celebrated our third wedding anniversary. Huh? So obviously I have women completely figured out by this point. No. But one thing that I have learned is that females just have this desire to feel beautiful. So I wrote this song hoping to just provide a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of truth. And it was a song I was never going to record. I was only going to play it for youth groups and student camps. And I played it for my wife as I do all of my new songs and she looked at me. She said, Johnny, you have to record that song. So I looked at her. I said, baby, I'm the man of this house. So yes, dear, whatever you say. And she was right. God had bigger plans for this song than I ever dreamed possible. And thanks to great stations like 88.3, this song actually went number one on the Christian charts. Um, and so we're going to play it for you now, but my challenge, ladies, is listen closely to these words. And believe them as truth. And be able to take them home with you tonight. And guys... I don't want to leave you out. My challenge for you is to make sure the females in your life know that this is how you feel too. So again, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys way out in the bleachers. I know you can hear me out there. Love you guys too. This is our last song. It's called More Beautiful You.
so very much. We'll see you in the pavilion. Thanks.